is Nicole Arbor, a performer from Canada who identifies as a comedian. There are those who strongly dispute this claim. However, her large following on YouTube says there are obviously people who appreciate her for something. Maybe it's that playful pink streak in her hair that's all the rage with 15-year-olds. Last week, Arbor posted a rant on YouTube called Dear Fat People, and that was the most gentle part of the video. Here are some highlights. Dear fat people, fat shaming is not a thing. Fat people made that up. That's the race card with no race. Yeah, but I couldn't fit into a store. That's discrimination. Uh, no, that means you're too fat and you should stop eating. Are you gonna tell the doctor that they're being mean and fat shaming you when they say you have fucking heart disease? I said. Big boned isn't a thing. There are no fucking skeletons that look like the Michelin man. Fat people parking spots should be at the back of the mall parking lot. Walk to the doors and burn some calories. They forgot to tell you that plus size stands for plus heart disease, plus knee problems, plus diabetes. They were so fat that they're that standing sweat fat. Crisco was coming out of their pores. Ah, some people are already really mad at this video. What are you gonna do, fat people? What are you gonna do? Wait, what, what are you gonna chase me? Really? You're gonna chase me? It's gonna be like fucking Frankenstein. And just so you don't think she's completely heartless, and if there's people watching this with a specific health condition, this is not aimed at you. Genetics plays a part in things to a degree. I'm not saying all this to be an asshole. I'm saying this because your friends should be saying it to you. The truth is, I will actually love you no matter what. Now many people have found this attempted comedy offensive. Here's what I was offended by. The jokes are ancient. Fat people should park at the back of the parking lot so they can get some exercise? Fat people sweat Crisco? Couldn't you pick some jokes that were created after the Industrial Revolution? That shit needs carbon dating! You really think fat people haven't heard all those old chestnuts a million times? If you're gonna call out fat people, it better be worth distracting them from their societally imposed self-loathing! This video isn't for fat people, it's for people who want to laugh at fat people! This wasn't just bad marketing, it was remarkably insensitive! Think of all the assholes who missed out on the fun because they thought this video was actually to help people. Speaking of disingenuous, this business about how you made the video because you care and love fat people so much? Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. Does this face look like compassion? Looks to me like indecision, spit or swallow. You don't like fat people? They disgust you. Own it. Don't pussy out with this compassion bullshit. If you're gonna be an asshole, at least be a genuine asshole. Now on the off chance that you really made the video out of love, I hate to think what your Valentine's Day is like. <laughs> Unless you really think that our culture doesn't do enough to tell fat people they're fat. The magazine covers, the models, the clothes never available in their size, the looks from people at the gym, whispers about them at restaurants, that people at Walmart site. After all these messages reinforced day in, day out, 24-7, you really think they needed Nicole Arbor to make them say, oh hey, now I get it. I'm fat! Was there anything you said about the health risks wrong? No, but overweight people already know that. There's no need to be so harsh. That would be like me saying the professional comedians consider you a talentless hack who uses her boobs for nervous laughter rather than writing fresh material. And that people tend to write you off as an overmade up airhead who will say anything for attention. See, you already know all that. But did my telling you really help? But hey, I'm telling you that because I care. But somebody's watching her videos, and her other videos of the same temperament, and not just to be outraged. Lots of people give her the thumbs up. Don't make that dirty. Arbor has tapped into the same discontent that Donald Trump has. People who want public voices to give them license to be assholes. And in mining these assholes for personal benefit, Nicole has found a mother load. Go ahead, make that dirty. What? It's milk. Now I'm proud to say that there was a time I might have made a video like Dear Fat People. I'm proud because I'm speaking in the past tense. Having that in my rearview mirror shows I've traveled a distance from being that kind of asshole. And that's the teachable moment about Arbor's video. It's a useful marker for how far we've come as a society. Not long ago taking cheap shots at vulnerable groups was so normal that routines like Dear Fat People would have been lost in the noise. By the way, I asked Nicole to be interviewed for this video, but she didn't respond. Could be she's just been getting so many requests from the media that she didn't see mine. To make it stand out, maybe I should have made the subject heading Dear Over Made Up <laughs> Hey, she got 20 million views. The format is clearly effective. Hey, and while I got you, don't forget to subscribe. Just press the little button. It's not very difficult. <laughs>